Now this might look like just any old field, but this pretty Hertfordshire meadow now finds itself the front line in the new battle over genetically modified crops. Because over there, beyond the security guards and the chain link fencing, is the world's first trial of wheat genetically modified to fend off insects, and it's under attack. We've moved the genes uh, basically from the mint plant into wheat in order to make, make the same pheromone uh, that causes this deterrent effect. It has a second effect which is rather interesting and in that it, it also attracts ladybirds and uh, parasitoid wasps which also then control the aphids. So there's actually a multiple natural effect going on here. Well, this is as close as we can get to the site now because in the early hours of Sunday morning, police were called here to reports of a man breaking in and attempting to attack the crop. Security has been stepped up, but the real worry for scientists here now is a day of mass action planned to attack this trial on Sunday. The scientists have appealed directly to the protesters not to ruin their research. Several years worth of work to which we have been devoting our lives will be destroyed forever. They've invited the protesters to meet them for a public debate at a neutral location, but the protesters said they did not have the capacity to attend. The campaign group calls itself Take the Flower Back. They say they are not connected to the man arrested, but they insist this trial is dangerous and say it must be stopped. We hope to be able to remove the threat of pollination from this trial and it's the last opportunity for us to be able to do that before pollination takes place. And the consequences of pollination could be extremely serious. In 2006 in America, a crop that was similarly regarded as a very low contamination risk leaked into the American food chain and cost farmers millions in lost exports. We can't let our farmers take that risk. That's just not necessary and it's something that we feel needs to be taken responsibility for. If this trial is successful, it will breed wheat that doesn't need pesticides. The end goal, crops that don't fail, that feed more of the world. This field trial is the culmination of more than five years' work in the lab. The scientists say significant damage has been done, but not enough to disrupt their trial. Katie Stallard, Sky News, Hertfordshire.